My name is Kathy Weinberg Kinsey from Secure Futures. You have just jumped to the top of the list of available volunteers by taking time to complete online training. Now we would like to share with you the logistics for our volunteer opportunities. Here's what you need to know regarding how to get involved. You will regularly receive email announcements inviting you to consider volunteer opportunities, and you are welcome to take initiative and contact us anytime you are interested in scheduling a classroom experience. In addition to routine volunteer opportunity email announcements, we may also contact you directly, personally inviting you to consider an opportunity that you've requested, such as a preferred school or a type of student, or when we expect an opportunity to appeal to you for any reason, such as its convenience to your work or home location. Your preferences were designated by you when you completed our application. Please note, we are always looking for more volunteers who are interested in working with special groups of students. We have opportunities to work with unique populations, including special education or special needs students, English language learners, and students in need of additional support due to behavioral concerns or other life circumstances. You can indicate your interest in working with these groups in your volunteer profile, where you can make changes to your contact information, availability, or preferences. It can be found by utilizing the volunteer login on our website. Please keep your profile updated we want to make sure we can stay in touch if you switch jobs or change email addresses. The process. Here is how the process works for a volunteer opportunity from start to finish. Step one is scheduling. We invite you to consider volunteer opportunities that are presented to you via email notifications and personal requests. If you're interested in volunteering, Simply respond to the email and we will reply back. Once you have been matched to a program, you and the educator or program contact are sent a confirmation email with complete program information, including the contact information for the educator or program contact, along with all logistical details. The email will also have links to the Prezi presentations that you will be using in the lessons. Step two, receiving materials. You will receive copies of the volunteer instructor notes and the student materials for each lesson you are presenting. The student materials will include name tent paper, pre and post surveys, student workbooks, and course evaluations. Materials will be delivered to the address of your choice as indicated in your volunteer profile no less than one week before the program is scheduled to begin. Step three, preparing for the lessons. You have a number of resources at your fingertips to ensure that you are prepared to lead the Money Sense lessons. First, a preparation checklist tool is available with links to online training and our resource library. This tool is available in the confirmation email it outlines best practices and provides access to relevant resources and allows you to choose where to focus your preparation time. You can always come back to this online training as a refresher to watch the short video overview of each lesson. The resource library is also good to browse. It is full of tips, tricks, and video demonstrations that will help you to hone your skills as a presenter. It is accessible through the online training link or by searching for resource library on the Secure Futures website. Whether or not you use the presentation checklist or revisit online training, it is strongly recommended that you walk through the Prezi presentations before going into the classroom. Many of the slides have unique transitions that you need to be aware of. Reviewing and rehearsing the activities in each lesson is vital. 
completing the activities with students is more important than covering every slide. And while you're at it, think about which stories you'd like to tell the students. Personal stories bring the presentations to life and significantly improve student interest and engagement. There is space in your instructor notes to record story ideas. Connecting with the educator or program contact is step four. Please reach out to the educator or program contact prior to your first presentation. This is a great way to break the ice and build rapport. You are welcome to take this opportunity to clarify any questions you have about parking or entering the school, or perhaps inquire about the nature of the class and their background on financial education. Step five, presenting the program and staff support. Our Secure Future staff are here to support you. Once you begin your program presentations, we will contact you to see how things are going. Please don't hesitate to let us know at any time if you need anything. Step six, wrapping up. When you have presented your last session, you will receive an email requesting you to return the completed student materials, the pre and post surveys and course evaluations. You will also be invited to complete an online evaluation. As part of Secure Future's continuous quality improvement effort, we gather feedback from students, educators, and our volunteers. Your feedback is appreciated. We want to know what you think works well and what needs to be improved. We also want to know if you enjoyed the experience and have interest in doing another program at that location in the future. Thank you for signing up to volunteer, for completing the online training, and most of all, for what you will do for the students in our classrooms. Secure Future staff are available to answer any questions you may have and to help you feel comfortable in the classroom. Don't hesitate to reach out.